This lesson is going to be on a Sunhouse song. This one's called Shetland Pony Blues. And the tuning for this song is Spanish tuning, but Sunhouse actually tunes a minor step lower than what Spanish tuning is usually tuned to, which is open G. And he tunes to open E. So I'll go through the song once, and then we'll get into the lesson. Sunhouse plays is a little double stop on the top two strings. Um, you could probably play this most comfortably with your second and third finger on the eighth fret. And what he does is sort of, whenever he plays it, he sort of bends up just the slightest bit. And the thing about this song is that Sunhouse always plays a lot of little fillers. Um, more percussive than anything else with his right hand. So, for example, he'll play... So to get that down, you just have to get used to the movements and getting, get your hand used to naturally filling in um, the sort of spaces that Sunhouse would normally fill in. So in this case, we'll start off by going... And that'll just be a rake up with the thumb and then hitting it down while stripping the strings and then immediately going into that double stop. So it goes like this. And you notice there that I hit it again. And that's exactly um, the sort of style that he'd use. And then the next thing that he'd sort of do is play the bottom string and then the second string. So all together that's the big rake. The hit. And then the bottom two strings. And then another hit. And he'll just repeat it. The next move that he does is way back to the bottom of the neck, and it's the same sort of phrasing. So what he does here is he plays... So on the treble part, this is what he plays. It's open fifth string, and then he'll play um, an open sixth string, so an open top two strings, and then come in on the second fret of the top string, and then the third fret, all the while playing that fifth string open. And of course, like I said, same sort of phrasing with the bass side with the right hand. So coming in with that hit. So to play that little sliding move that he plays next, it'll basically be on the fourth, fourth string, third fret, where he slides in a few times. Um, the actual phrasing of which goes as follows. So you'll see there that he, slid it, he slides in a bunch of times into the third fret, then hits the open fourth string, third fret, third string, and then open fourth again. What I do a little um, bit to add in a little bit of an effect is to get a little bit of a burp sound. So that's kind of a ghost note. So that's just playing the, the third string to get a little bit of a Dwayne Allman sort of feel into the sound, which kind of helps make the sound a bit bigger to emulate Sunhouse. So, the other thing to think about here is that you have to play a lot of vibrato on the notes. 
especially on that third fret, third string. It doesn't sound good if you just go. You gotta get a lot of vibrato in there. So once you get that, you can add in the right hand fillers that he plays throughout the rest of the song. And um, this is just uh, a situation that he might play in. But of course, he does change it each time, so be mindful of that. So for this instance, we'll go. So you'll notice there that I hit the strings twice. One sort of after that third fret, third string. And then again. So when you're doing that, you can actually play it as just the bass strings hit, bass and treble, or just treble. So experiment, he does use all the different variations, so try them all out. Hit. Hit again. And this leads into the next part of the song, where he plays a really cool snap strum lick. And this um, goes a little like this. So that's snapping the second string, then hitting the third fret, open fourth, third fret of the third string. And with all those bass notes, what you want to do is dig your thumb a little underneath the string and snap out, and that will give you a big, huge sound in the bass. What he does for the treble side strings is a little sweep, just using the first finger. And that's two sweeps after the first two bass notes. So this is how it goes. Sweep twice, second bass note, sweep twice. So that's a cool, cool little lick that he repeats a little later in the song. But before we get to that again, he plays that sliding move again. So this time he does phrase it a little differently. And usually the way he'll phrase it is a bunch of short notes and two long notes. Two long notes. So you can vary it each time just like all the other parts of this song. But for this instance we'll play it like this. Very similar to the previous time, just think about adding a few more notes because that's usually what he'll do. And then finish off with two long ones on the beats. And whenever you feel comfortable, just throw in those same um, thumb hits. I play them like this. So, um, again, just listen to the recording for those thumb hits because he kind of varies it each time. And then he completes the chorus by playing that snap strum like again. And with all those moves, you should be well on your way to learning this awesome Sunhouse song. Thanks for watching.